Israeli tanks rolled into the Gazan city of Rafah today, leading a limited IDF operation to destroy Hamas brigades and infrastructure in that city. Now, elsewhere today in Cairo, Israeli officials continued negotiations for an agreement that would include a ceasefire, at least temporarily, and the exchange of hostages. Joining me now to discuss this, uh, the, uh, the latest from Israel's war against Hamas is a member of the Knesset, Simpka Rothman. He is a part of the, as I mentioned, Israeli Knesset for the National Religious Party, uh, Religious Zionism, and the chair of the Knesset's Constitution, Law, and Justice Committee. M.K. Rothman, welcome back to Washington Watch. Hi, Shalom. So uh, give us the latest. Today's operations did not appear to be the anticipated full ground invasion of Rafah. Is there more to come? Um, I really hope so. Um, I, I do uh, deeply believe that uh, the pressure um, that we got from, uh, from outside, some of it sadly also from uh, the United States administration that delayed uh, their attack on Rafah, um, uh, did not do well, not for the hostages and not for the war effort. I really hope uh, the operation in Rafah will expand and we will make sure to eliminate Hamas and take control of the Gaza Strip, because that's the only way uh, we will be safe. Are the reports accurate that there's concern that the United States, those negotiating uh, this ceasefire, withheld information from Israel? Um, I don't know exactly uh, what's happening in uh, uh, the, con the negotiation rooms. Um, the negotiation should, uh, should and uh, I hope that's the way it is, uh, remain uh, uh, behind closed doors, because uh, nothing good comes when leaks uh, from negotiation rooms uh, um, arrive, definitely not for the hostages. But um, I do think that uh, there, for many, many, uh, too long, I would say, um, we did not hear a very uh, clear statement, the statement that should have been heard uh, long ago, that the 100 percent responsibility and blame on the well-being of the hostages and uh, the fact that they are not home yet is on the Hamas. Uh, Israel should not be uh, uh, put under pressure. The sh only pressure should be on Hamas and actually on Hamas uh, supporters and enablers, namely Qatar. Um, the fact that the pressure is on Israel is, um, is really a shame. So, M.K. Rothman, give us a, a sense of where the Israeli community, the citizens of Israel, are right now as they see this unfolding. I mean, we're seven months into this. Hostages are still being held. The United States reports coming, uh, you know, the administration not acknowledging them, but there's reports saying that uh, military shipments being delayed to, to Israel. What's the sense in Israel among Israelis? So first, I, I really hope those reports uh, will turn out to be not accurate and not true, because um, um, the, fa the fact that uh, um, we, we always uh, see uh, the United States and the people of the United States as our allies. And uh, I saw the response from some of the uh, um, uh, key, uh, um, key players in the Republican Party that said very loudly that uh, um, 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 delaying um, uh, delaying F uh, the, the supplies during wartime to an ally is not something anyone uh, um, that calls himself an ally should do. So I really hope those uh, those uh, reports will be uh, will be deemed untrue. But uh, but we uh, it, this, the people of Israel are very united in every in every poll, in every uh, every person you ask, and also in the political system. There is uh, 99 Knesset members said no to enforcing Palestinian state on the people of Israel, uh, which is the vast majority of the Knesset, of our uh, par parliament. Um, the people in Israel are behind the IDF forces. Um, uh, we support uh, everyone, supports the war effort, and actually everyone sends their children to this fight. It's not just uh, saying it in a poll when it's far away and it doesn't matter. 
Um, everyone sends a family member or a, ch or a son or a brother or a cousin to the war uh, to make sure that uh, Israel is safe. Uh, we, uh, we must eliminate this uh, threat of Hamas. We all remember, and we are speaking today, a day after uh, Holocaust Remembrance Day in Israel, um, that uh, we the, the never again is not just a saying. We need to make sure that the people, to take them seriously, the people that are calling to destruction of the state of Israel and of the Jewish people, and fight them and eliminate the, this threat, because we cannot have this threat uh, um, uh, being exercised again, as we saw on October 7th. I 100% I, I agree. I, I do want to go back to your comments about the Republican leaders here. I've actually spoken privately with some of the Republican leadership, and uh, they're trying to verify these reports because they have not yet been verified. But there is outrage if this is, in fact, true, because especially after the vote last week to get uh, these resources to Israel, uh, as you said, in the middle of a war. I want to ask you another question, uh, M.K. Rothman. Earlier today, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called Israelis' military uh, their control of Rafa border, the border crossing, a very important step. Why is this strategically important for Israel? So, um, Israel, um, of course, fights Hamas and, and try to eliminate as many Hamas uh, combatants and uh, and uh, rockets and tunnels and all the all the tools they use to they used and they plan to use uh, to kill our citizens. So so uh, that's the war effort. Um, um, the border, the Rafa crossing, the border to Egypt was one of the main sources to pass uh, to smuggle uh, arms into uh, the Gaza Strip. By the way. Uh, by doing so, um, the fact that uh, um, both Egypt and, sadly, also I must say, the United States said in the past that they will uh, uh, they will do what they can, and they promised that there will be no weapons that's coming through the Rafa uh, border, the border of uh, of the Gaza Strip with Egypt, and sadly we all saw what came through there. So blocking it is very important because that uh, uh, breaks the supply chain of weapons, rockets, and other uh, war materials for the Hamas. And also, that's a source of income to Hamas. So uh, um, so to take this uh, this uh, Rafa crossing and take it away from the hands of the Hamas will make Hamas weep, weaker and uh, uh, hopefully, uh, with God's help, uh, get, get the war shorter and the chances of getting the hostages so, back so, so much that, greater. That has continued to be a supply line coming across that border, even during the midst of the war. Yes, um, of course, uh, um, Israel um, and uh, Egypt have uh, had some effort. Um, of course, Israel um, um, tried to see what's coming uh, through uh, some uh, intel options, but Egypt is the key. And many things were smuggled in, and I'm not. I, I don't know uh, how uh, efficient was the supervision by Egypt, because as we say, uh, as we saw, uh, many things got in. So yes, it was operative. Many many people got in and out um, through the Rafa crossing to Gaza. Um, just um, uh, the lie for the past few years, people were talking about Israel that uh, doing a blockade over Gaza. Rafa crossing is the border with Egypt, and Israel had no control of it. So, uh, so that put in context all the lies that we have heard about Israel uh, um, barricading Gaza. Uh, M.K. Rothman, la final question for you. Just got about uh, 30 seconds left, but I I Hamas dragging their feet in the negotiations as it pertains to releasing the hostages. Is there a growing concern that many of these hostages may no longer be alive? Um, yes, sadly, we know uh, we know already uh, more than 30. Uh, we just got announcement today of another another uh, um, hostage that was considered that we didn't know what uh, happened with him, and now it was confirmed that he actually was murdered on October 7th, and and Hamas is holding his body. Um, of course, Hamas uh, um, um, in, is in charge and he's responsible of the well-being of the hostages and what's going on there. And and the situation is becoming worse uh, um, every day. 
that's why I'm I'm emphasizing the importance of applying pressure on uh, on Qatar, on anyone who enables right. Hamas. The leadership of Hamas sits today in Qatar every day. So so uh, the pressure can come and should come from all the world. All right, MK Rothman, I want to thank you for joining us as uh, we continue to track events there in Israel.